Hey boys and girls, welcome to another Kids for Christ Bible lesson with Pastor Talent. I've got some exciting things I want to go over today. I know there's a lot going on right now that uh, may bring some nervous feelings, uh, some fear. Uh, and so there's a lot of things on the news that are talking about how things are going to start reopening. But if they do that, there could be some risk uh, for people that you love or maybe even yourself from getting the virus that we've all heard so much about. But also not ignorant to think that there's some other things that may be going on in your life, maybe with school, maybe with family, maybe with some of your friends that are causing some things in your life that are just uneasy, they're uncertain, you have some nervous, or even maybe you're a little bit scared about. But I want us to take refuge in what God has to say about fear, what God has to say about his help for you and I that know him. And the Bible verse that I want to talk about today is found in Psalms chapter 46 and verse 1. Psalms 46, verse 1, it says, God is our refuge and strength, a very present help in trouble. See, when we are weak, that's when the Bible says that God is the most strong. In our weakness, his strength is made perfect. And when you have times where you're a little nervous about something or uh, you don't know how to handle a situation, often we run to everything else but God. And I want us to recognize today's lesson that God should be the first place that we go to. He is our refuge. He's the what we escape to. He's the help. And it says that he is our strength. When we're weak, when we don't know what to do, it's God's strength that can help us. Then the Bible says, a very present help in trouble. And what this is, uh, what the Bible is saying here in this phrase is that because God has been faithful in the past, because he's come through time and time again, this is proof that in our times of need, God is there. In our times of fear, God can be our strength, our refuge, and our help. I want to demonstrate that today. I've got a couple of balloons here. I've got one balloon here and another balloon here. They're about the same size. They came from the same package. They're the same color, and I'm the one who blew both of them up, and I tied both their knots. I made them as identical as I could. The only difference is you may be able to see that this balloon has some water in it. You see it jiggling around in there? That has water. This balloon doesn't have anything in it. Now, what's this water represent? Well, the Bible tells us that God, when we get saved, moves in us and indwells us, and he helps us. This water represents the Lord. And so what happens is, is we face circumstances, and we face different uh, trials, and we face different types of uncertainty. That's what this candle, not candle, this lighter is going to represent. See the flame there? I'm going to turn it up. There we go. And this flame here represents the uncertain things, things that make us nervous, things that make us scared. And see, whether it's the virus that we're hearing so much about or whether it's something going on that's completely different in your home, in your school, with a friend, with a family member. When we face these things, we can face them one of two ways. We can face them with the Lord in us as our help and our strength, or we can face them on our own. We can rely on our own understanding and think what we can do to fix it. So the trial comes either way. Let's see the difference. So when the trial comes for somebody who doesn't have God in their life or who doesn't go to the Lord for their help, the trial comes, boom, oh, that was a big boom. That's what happens. They pop, they mess up, they end up going and relying on their own ways. Remember, it's the same balloon, same package, same trial and difficulty. Let's see the difference. Oh, no, I hope this works or Miss Jennifer's going to be really mad at me. All right, here we go. Wow. It's not popping. It's not popping. I want you to notice. I was really touching it. You see the black? The trial, the circumstance, it was really hitting the balloon. So we see, boys and girls, which is because we have a relationship with the Lord, and just because you go to God for his help and use his strength, it doesn't mean that the trials don't come. It doesn't mean that the scary things don't happen to us. It just means as we endure them, we have a different response than what the world has. We have a different response for somebody who tries to do it in their own strength. Remember, if you do it without the Lord, there's one outcome. And with the Lord, and His strength, that's a very present help in times of trouble. God helps us through. Boys and girls, this week I hope that you'll remember that you have a Lord that loves you, that wants to help you. 
If you never trusted him as your savior, maybe this week you start thinking about that to make a decision to invite him into your life, to forgive you of your sins, and have him indwell you to help you to be that very present help in times of trouble. If you're watching this and you know Jesus as your Savior, I want you to rely on him. I, I don't want you to rely on what you hear and what, you're, what you think and your opinion. Boys and girls, I want you to realize that God not only is able to help you, he wants to help you. He desires for you to have the peace of God that passes all understanding and to be a help for you in it, no matter what you face. Let me pray with you this week. Wonderful, boy, wonderful Savior, we thank you for these boys and girls. I thank you for their desire to... To, to love you and to live for you. I thank you for their faithfulness to, to watch these Kids for Christ videos to receive help. God, I pray you speak to their heart. God, I thank you uh, for those of us who know you as Savior, that you indwell us, that you are our very present help in difficult times, that, God, your strength is made, weak, is made perfect in our weakness, that you are a refuge that we can escape to. I pray this week that we remember that as we face whatever circumstances come along our way. That we wouldn't pop under the pressure. We wouldn't mess up, but that we'd fully rely on you. We love and we praise you. And we ask these things in Christ's name. Amen. Boys and girls, it's been fun to be with you again. Looking forward to a great Lord's Day this coming Sunday morning. Sunday morning at 11 and Sunday night at 6. I hope you'll join with us with your entire family. Pastor loves you. I'm praying for you. And we'll see you soon. God bless you.